Hey all, Chris Bassett here, and I've got 11 troubleshooting tips for your fire stick. Let's get into it. So first up on the list, we're going to restart your fire stick. You still have access to your controller, but the apps aren't loading properly. Go ahead and come over to the settings menu, and then scroll over to where it says My Fire TV. In here, you can scroll to the bottom, and it'll just say Restart. You want to select that option, and your fire stick will restart. Pretty simple. Next, let's say your screen's frozen. We're going to reset the fire stick with the controller. So you want to press the play and the select center button and hold that for 10 seconds. You know, after the 10 second time period, should shut off and then restart the fire stick. Uh, you can use that option if the screen's frozen and it's not working properly. Everything should reboot and then you should be good to go. Number three, go ahead and remove the fire stick from the HDMI port and then unplug the power from the fire stick. Leave it off for 60 seconds and then plug everything back in and try it again. Number four, you want to restart your router. So locate your router. Mine's right over here behind the curtain. Um, unplug the router from the wall. Wait a couple minutes. Plug it back in. Should reboot. You could also do this with the TV as well. Unplug the TV from the wall. Let it sit for a couple minutes. There's my power cord. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Plug it back in and should be good to go. Number five on the list, you might have the wrong Wi-Fi password, especially if you're staying at a guest somewhere you don't normally stay. Come over here to the settings menu, scroll over to network, and then just double check to make sure that you have the right password, all the capital letters, number spaces punched in. Here at the bottom also, there's a little bit of basic Wi-Fi troubleshooting tips. Uh, you can click on that and Amazon can help walk you through some of that stuff. Number six, you wanna check the uh, condition of your controller. So go ahead and go to controllers, Bluetooth devices. Um, here you can see if you want to pair, unpair, or you know resync your controller. This is useful if your controller is having problems communicating with the device. You can also check the batteries in the back. Open the back of the remote and replace the batteries. That could be another issue. Number seven, you want to check for your internet service provider. Uh, there may be an outage in your area. Come over to network and select the Wi-Fi network you're on, and then you can test the network connection. Uh, you could also call your provider. I know if there's lots of storms, that generally leads to a service outage, so you know, check the website, give them a call. Also, don't forget to pay your bill. That could also lead to an outage. Uh, for number eight, you want to check the time and date settings on your television. Sometimes if the uh, time and date settings aren't correct, uh, that can cause issues. So just I backed out to my TV settings, and I'm just going to scroll all the way down to where it says system. Inside the system, you should see something for, you know, your time. There's one of it right there. Um, also, if your time uh, is set up correctly, you could also reset the actual television. So you can go down. Uh, you can actually, you know, usually restart your system through the television. You know, before we unplugged it from the wall and let it sit, uh, you could try like a restart here or, um, you know, like I said before, a software update. Just make sure that your television is up to date and that'll lead to, you know, it functioning optimally. So here for number nine, let's go ahead and go back to the fire stick and we're going to check out some of the apps. So say, for example, your, your TV uh, fire stick was acting normal, but you installed a third party app and then it started acting up. You may need to remove that. So come over to the three squares with the plus that'll bring up your apps and channels. And then you may want to remove the apps that could cause problems. Uh, something else to look for is if you have a VPN, uh, it may not be set up correctly and may be causing issues. So you may need to remove that or try to get customer service through the VPN, as well as uh, you know delete any of those third-party apps that you added and then caused the problems. Alrighty, for number 10, let's remove, maybe reinstall a profile or two if you have someone's profile on your account uh, you know that could be causing issues to so come over to the profiles um, I don't have any additional people but say you had a, a fire stick with multiple people you could get rid of some of those profiles it won't let you technically remove the main profile but you can come over to the account settings and then deregister your main profile uh, it can be kind of a pain because then you need to reinstall it back on the fire stick that you're using but if you have a corrupted profile or, you know, then you can get rid of it and reinstall that. 
the main advantage between, you know, removing your profile and a factory reset would be that you get to keep all the apps and stuff that you've downloaded, which is the final step, number 11, go ahead and do a factory reset on the Fire Stick, which will remove everything totally, and then you have to reset up your entire stuff. So I'd only do this as a last resort, but I have done this before and it worked. Then uh, after the reset, reinstalled my profile and my Fire Stick worked fine. Hey, check out another video over here. I've got Amazon links down in the description for discount electronics. Check out those links. No extra cost. You can help support the channel. I really appreciate it. Any other questions or comments, put below. Thanks.